Yo guys, what's up? This is Dave, the Open Source Gangster here. So let's create a custom ROM. Now, in order to do this, we're not going to be building from source. Rather, we're going to be taking that base ROM and customizing it to our liking. So don't worry, this involves no programming experience whatsoever. In order to do this, you will need the following. First, read an Android device with a custom recovery installed. Next, you need to have a base ROM for your device. Now, the easiest way to find a base ROM is to go to google.com and search a device name followed by stock rooted XDA Deodex. And hopefully a link to your base ROM will come up from XDA developers that you can download. And that's pretty much it. Just a disclaimer, I am not responsible for anything you might do to your device. Even though this process is pretty safe, there still remains a risk. So perform this whole procedure at your own risk. So let's get to it. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is unzip the ROM. So we want to unzip our base ROM simply by extracting all and unzipping it. Okay, no matter what custom ROM you're using on what device, you're absolutely going to have a system folder right here. Now the system folder holds all these system information. So system apps, customizations, fonts, media, everything. So first let's take a look at system apps. Inside the system apps, these are all the apps that are installed by default and are the apps that you can't uninstall on your device without actually going into Root Explorer and leaving the APK. So most of these apps are important apps, particular for maybe your skin you're using, if you're using HTC Sense or TouchWiz, um, or even to stock Android, these apps are needed in here. However, some of these apps is bloatware that you can remove. So let's go see if I can find a bloatware app somewhere in here. Uh, bah, bah, bah. All right, so for example, Let's go to calculator. Not exactly bloatware, but I'm going to use this example. Um, let's say I don't want a calculator APK on my phone. Take up space. What I can do is just delete it. And now when I saw my ROM, there'll be no calculator. All right. Right here we see Paralysis Office APK. I don't really like Paralysis Office. I don't use it that much. So I'm going to delete that as well. So you pretty much see the point that these are all apps that you can delete and remove. So going back into your system folder, we have uh, other system folders been customized. Another place I like to play around in is customize. Resource. Now, right here we have pretty much your default wallpapers that you have on your device. Of course, you're free to change these wallpapers and add different wallpapers you want. We also have your boot up and down animations. Now, I'm pretty much gonna say what you can do is find another boot animation on XDA and replace them with the same name and it'll still work. Or you can use the boot animation app application to change the boot animation. So that's just a little info for you. I'm not really going to show you how to do that right now. But just know that this is there and this is what's in your resource folder. Going back here, we have media. Now media is another place which I definitely advise you to go in. And media, you have media, audio, alarms, notifications, ringtones. One thing I like to do is I absolutely hate the default stock ringtones that are on this device. So I'm honestly just going to delete all of them. Uh, like I said, I just hate all the ringtones and I can go back and add my own ringtones. So for example, I'm just going to go into my folder here and I have a bunch of ringtones that I like to use. And I'm going to copy all these and stick them right here. So I'm sticking all my custom ringtones that already made and put them in the ringtones folder just so I don't have to listen to the annoying stock ones. Notifications, pretty much the same deal. I can delete all these notifications or let's say I only want a few of them. I can go, I can delete that and maybe be left with these three notifications. And alarms, you pretty much get the same thing. And UI, what's pretty neat about UI is the fact that if you want to change some of the sounds, for example, let's say the camera click sound you're not a big fan of, you can change it with the same name. As long as it has the same name and the same extension, you can change it with a different sound, maybe camera click sound or a low battery sound uh, to whoever suits your needs. So definitely if you're a modder of audio, this is a big, big place to play around in. All right, now inside our system folder, we have something called build prop. So you would definitely need Notepad++ to open this. Now the build prop is a very powerful file. In one of my previous videos, I showed you some of the build prop hacks that you can add. And pretty much build prop, you can add, I wouldn't even say hacked, but you can add different mods, you can change different settings that apply to the device on first boot. 
and it also contains device information. So I think one of the best things we can do is build prop. It's going to build prop and look for the name of this ROM because we can change the name to anything we want. Okay, so we can go down here to where it says RO product.version and we have the version number of our uh, software here, but we can change it to something cool. So I'm going to call it Dave's Custom ROM. So now our custom ROM has a name to it, which is pretty neat. And like I said, you don't have to do it. It's just a little thing you could change. Um, other, over here, you see pretty much all the other information about your device. Uh, you, I mean, if you really want to, you can change it. I wouldn't advise doing so because this is uh, information that different apps, such as the Google Play Store, uses to when it identifies your device. Um, but this is other information here as well. And we have our build prop uh, tweaks down here. And like I said, uh, you can add different build prop tweaks. Uh, you can uh, change existing ones. For example, the Wi-Fi scan interval, I like to change that to 180. And that tends to save battery life, so it's not scanning so often. Okay, so most truly stock ROMs do not contain a data folder. However, if your ROM does have a data folder, pretty much those are the user installable apps that you can remove uh, and add to the data folder. So any apps that you install on the Google Play Store go into this data folder. Now like I said, by default, at least a lot of ROMs I've seen, if they're truly stock, do not have any apps installed because the user obviously hasn't used it yet. But if your ROM does have one, a neat thing is you can do is you can take some apps from your system folder, for example, let's go back. We take some apps, I'm just gonna quickly randomly grab an app. <laughs> Definitely don't grab this one. Uh, but just for example, we can take that and drag it to the data app folder. Therefore, that when we install the ROM, this app will be removable and uninstallable to the user. Pretty neat. And like I said, if you don't have one, then don't worry about it. It's not really a big deal, but that's what it is. Alright, so when you're done customizing your ROM, the last thing you need to do is zip it back up. Now, this is why I recommend that you download 7-Zip because I think it's just the easiest way to go about doing this. Inside the root of your ROM folder, just select all the files, right click, go to 7-Zip, add to archive. We can give it a name, I'm going to call it uh, Dave's ROM. And we can choose a compression level, I had to keep it to normal. Uh, just because it makes it just easier to flash, but it really does not matter. And hit enter. Once our zip file is complete, what we can do is we can copy it to our internal storage so that we can flash it. So I'm just going to move this to here, my HD1, and so we can go about flashing. Alright, so in recovery, the first thing you always want to do whenever flashing a ROM, no matter if it's your own ROM or someone else's, is to make a backup. So make sure you go to your backup option, whether or not you're using Team One Recovery Project or Clockwork Mod Recovery or an Armin RA Recovery, no matter what recovery you're using, just make sure you make a backup. That is always the prime thing to do. That way, if anything ever goes wrong, you can just easily revert back without any issues. So I already made my backup. So after you make your backup, of course what you want to do is wipe everything. So wipe. Depending on what recovery you're using, your options are going to be different. So just don't worry about too much about the options. Just have the same idea. So now let's install our ROM. So I'm going to install and Dave's ROM. There we go. And let's swipe the flash. And all right, it completed. So now let's reboot our system. And hopefully everything should be up and running as normal. All right, and here we are in a fresh boot. And as you can see, everything's working. All right, and if we go to settings, and we can go to sound, one thing I first want to show you is our ringtones. As you can see, here are all the ringtones, which I copied over earlier, and then the stock ringtones, which is awesome. So our ringtones work just fine. Okay, and in our application system apps, we can see the apps are removed. For example, calculator. Ooh, move the calculator. It's no longer there. We just have the widget. I never moved the widget, so <laughs> I use this widget right now. And also, the other apps that we move are no longer present as well. All right, so congratulations. You have made your first custom Android ROM. Now, I know some of you are going to comment and say, well, Dave, all we did was change a few files, and you're calling custom ROM. What gives? And, I mean, that's really the point of a custom ROM, having the ability to take a stock ROM and change it to your desire and just tinker it to your liking, and that's what makes it custom. So I think either way, this is still counts as a custom ROM, and it's still a great way to tweak a ROM to your liking and just have fun with it. 
so like I said, definitely have fun, check it out, try the different ROM, different things, um, and just see what works with you, what you like. And hopefully in the future we can build a ROM from source and have fun with that. So thanks for watching, and tune in for some more galvanizing videos. Thanks.